Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this Adidas logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of Adobe Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. And if you want to learn more about logo animation in depth, then don't forget to check out my Udemy course on logo animation masterclass. Link is available in the description. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So first of all here we are in adobe photoshop now i have this logo file over here and you can choose whatever logo you want also for this animation just you need to tweak a little bit but this time i'm going to choose this adidas logo and now we want this alphabets on separate layer and this three portions also on the separate layers so i'm going to select my rectangle selection tool first and then first of all i'll separate this part over here so i'll create this kind of selection like this and then i'll hit ctrl x to cut it out i'll create a new layer and i'll press ctrl shift v to paste in place this and let's hide this alphabet now as you guys can see we are getting this kind of stuff then i'm going to press l on my keyboard to select lasso tool and i'll select this much portion over here hit ctrl x create a new layer and press ctrl shift v to paste in place like this then i'm going to select this layer again i'll select this much portion over here uh, hit ctrl d to deselect let's select this again hit ctrl x create a new layer and press ctrl shift v to paste in place so as you guys can see these three stuffs are also on separate layer so let's hide this and now we will focus on our alphabets so now i'm going to select my rectangle selection tool again and i'll select this a i'll hit ctrl x create a new layer press ctrl shift v to paste in place and we will hide this same procedure we will follow for this alphabets also like this simply select the selection hit ctrl x to cut it out create new layer press ctrl shift v paste in place same procedure for this remaining alphabets so i'll do this a little bit faster yep so as you guys can see our logo is ready for animation so i'll save this photoshop file now i'll go to the adobe after effects i'll create a new composition i'm going to name it as main animation like this weight is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 second and duration is also 30 second and background color is white color and simply hit ok like this now go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection over here then press ctrl i on your keyboard to import our photoshop file i'll select this file first and in import as instead of footage i'm going to choose composition return layers and sizes and simply hit import and hit ok now double click to open this select all of this photoshop layers hit ctrl c to copy go to the main animation and hit ctrl v and then try to adjust this properly at the center right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it parent with this null one select this null one press s and let's decrease the size a little bit let's make it 50 and we will delete this null object we don't need that now first of all we will animate this uh, three uh, stuff over here simply select all of them and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as uh, let's say upper part and hit ok then we will select our rectangle selection tool i mean uh, rectangle tool and we will create one simple mask on it like this okay now go inside this select all of them press p for position create one keyframe go to around one second create another keyframe and go to the start then press ctrl r to bring our ruler and we will bring one line over here now select this over here uh, portion over here and we will bring this over here make sure that it should go out of this or hit ctrl z simply select all of them and we will bring them downwards like this then this one should be over here this one should be over here select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here 
so we'll get something like this now i want them to be animated one by one so i'll take a distance of 10 frames and i'll select this one and with the help of open square bracket i'll move this over here then i'll select this one and with the help of open square bracket i'll move this over here so if you see we will get this kind of animation then press f4 and over here we have to enable the motion blur so it will create some awesome effect and if you see this animation over here because we have this mask we will get something like this let's hide this and we will lock this now we will focus on this one so initially i want to focus on this one this one and this a over here so i'll bring them at the top and i'll hide uh, this remaining alphabets okay so why we are doing that let's see now let's select this uh, alphabets and press p for position select this right click choose separate dimensions select this right click choose separate dimensions select this right click choose separate dimensions okay select all of them create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y then zoom in a little bit go to around two second again create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y then go somewhere around over here again create one keyframe at y only okay and in middle of that i'll select this and i'll bring this a little bit upward okay so at this point we will get this kind of bounciness then initially at this point they should be over here okay so we'll get something like this now at one second i'm going to create uh, one keyframe at y position sorry only on y position so make sure to create one keyframe at y position now at this point i'll select all of them and i'll change the y position over here then at this point again i'll change the y position over here okay if you want then you can move this a little bit up also it's totally up to you then you have to change the y value of this one over here also like this now we are uh, our this uh, basic animation is ready now we have to adjust the graph so it will look like a proper bouncing animation so let's select all of these layers and in search option i'm type only y so it will show me only y position keyframes now uh, we will select those y position keyframes and i'll hit f9 then i'll go to the graph editor i'll select this graph first of all make sure to hit f9 then i'll select this middle one over here let's move one handle over here and this handle shift it over here go to the start select this move this like this and move it like this okay then again we will select this we will move this over here move this over here select this and move this over here and move this one over here then we will select this move this one over here select this move this one over here okay then go to the start press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u go somewhere around last one and let's make this one complete rotation so if you see we will get something like this or let's move this rotation or okay, keyframe over here so if you see this now we will get something like this okay now hit u now we need to create shape elements so let's select our rectangle tool and stroke width i'm going to choose 20 and now over here let's make this full resolution and we are going to create one rectangle which should cover this a select this press ctrl alt home and let's hide this and let's see where is a first of all we will select this let's hit enter and let's call it as a d and hit enter and call it as a so now this shape layer is for a so i'll select this hit enter and let's call it as a and let's make it apparent with this a and we will move this over here also now for this one over here i'm going to make this ellipse so i'll make it ellipse press ctrl alt home uh, select this and let's move this over here let's call it as d so move this over here and make it apparent with this d 
and now for this last one we need rectangle so not rectangle but triangle so we'll select our star tool we will create one star go to the poly star poly star path and points let's reduce to three then select this press ctrl alt home and let's move this over here press s and let's decrease the size a little bit okay and move this over here and make it apparent with this a select this hit enter and let's call it as a okay so now what will happen that this uh, shapes are also moving with this one so now hit u over here now at this point somewhere around at this point i want this shapes to convert uh, should be converted into this uh, alphabet so what i'm going to do i'll select this shape press alt close bracket to trim this over here simply select all of them and hold alt close bracket like this let's select those shape layers and let's try to move them over here then select this uh, alphabetical layers which is our photoshop layers hold alt open bracket to trim this over here so if you see we will get this transition face over here so if i see this now i'll get this and then this now press f4 and simply select all of them and enable motion blur so if you see this now we will get this kind of transition which is quite uh, smooth now i'm going to select this a press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and let's call it as a so it would be better for us to move them if they want if we want to let's call it as d let's call it as a also now uh, these are the remaining stuff so let's do one thing i'll select this a uh, then i'll go to around 5 frames or let's say 10 frames then i'll select this d over here go to around 20 frames select this and move this over here so if you see this now we will get something like this now uh, animation of this one should be depend on the bouncing um, time for this one so what i'm going to do let's move this time indicator and let's see when this rectangle it's going to hit the ground at this point this rectangle is hitting this ground so i'll select my first alphabet which is s uh, I'll move this over here, press P for position, create one keyframe, then press S, create one keyframe, then press R, create one keyframe, and then hit U so you can see all the keyframes. Then uh, go somewhere around 25 frames and create another keyframes. Then go to the start uh, and let's move this, uh, sorry, let's move this at this point and let's make the scale 0 over here and let's make the scale uh, rotation 1 so we will get something like this or uh, instead of that let's make this minus one or let's say minus two i think minus two is quite too much so let's make this minus one only okay now let's go a few frame forward uh, the o is bouncing at this point so i'll select this d i'll move this over here press p create one keyframe r s and hit u go somewhere around over here create another keyframes go to the start and let's move this over here let's make this zero and let's make this minus one then go somewhere around over here this rectangle triangle is touching at this point move this over here p s r and hit u go somewhere around over here create another keyframes go to the start and let's move this over here let's make this zero and let's make this minus one okay so if you see this now we will getting something like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here and if you see this animation now you will get something like this okay so if you see this and let's uh, enable this upper part over here because this should uh, start to animate somewhere around when the animation is going to end okay so this is how you will get this animation select all of them press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this i'll call it as final animation hit ctrl d to duplicate it press s minus let's make this minus 100 press p for position and let's bring this downwards like this 
okay then press t for opacity let's make this 20 or let's say 15 select your rectangle tool create one mask sorry uh, let's create mask over here only and go to the mask option and choose mask feathers so if you see this now you will get something like this let's select this mask and let's move this point somewhere around over here okay like this and then you can press ctrl y to create one solid background bring this backward right click new and create one adjustment layer like this and then if you want then you can apply tint effect on it you can either swap these colors or instead of uh, white you can choose somewhere around like this and instead of black you can choose white also so uh, if you see this now you will get something like this so it's totally depend on you you can choose whatever color you want you can play around with the different stuff it's totally up to you so yep this is how you can create this kind of adidas logo reveal animation